everybody, Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom here, and today what we're going to be doing is talking about some new impulse responses uh, that have been developed with a partnership between Positive Grid, which makes the bias effects, bias amp, that sort of thing, and Celestion, Celestion speakers. And so what they've done is they've created some new impulse responses of guitar cabinets, uh, a vast amount of guitar cabinets with uh, various different kinds of microphones. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be looking at some of those impulse responses and we're going to be seeing how they sound. You know, I if you watch a lot of my videos, you know I use a lot of the positive grid stuff for my videos, you know, for my music, things like that when I'm in my studio at home and I'm recording. So I thought it'd be fun to show you sort of the difference between some of these sounds and see what you think. So uh, the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to look at bias amp 2, which is where we're going to be loading these impulse responses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with some clean sounds and then I'm going to move into some some heavier sounds and show you what these uh, impulse responses actually sound like. So let's just go ahead and take a look. Let's look at this RC120 here, which is a really nice sounding clean sound. I'm going to be using my Ibanez, of course, with my EMG pickups. Now that already is very usable for me. Now I'm going to throw on just a teeny bit of uh, reverb here, just to give it some some depth okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to come over here now we've got our amp and of course we can we can tweak these however we need to but what we're going to be doing today is looking at the cabinet we're going to be looking at those impulse responses that we can load so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come over to the cabinet section and you can see right underneath there it says cabinet if i click on that here's where i can normally load all of my cabinets that are that come with um positive grid or you know, any add-on packs, that sort of thing would happen. But what we want to focus on today is right here, this IR loader. This is where we're going to be loading those impulse responses from Celestion. So if I click on that, the first thing that it does is it pulls this up, okay? And what I'm going to do is hit load. Now, I've got five packs of impulse responses that we're going to look at here. Now, if I hit load, you're going to notice it pops this thing up. Now, Here's my cabinets for bias amp, Celestion, but this is, again, what we're looking for is the IR loader here. Now, there's some factory ones, some user ones, and you can see I even made a new folder called Steve IR. Now, right now, there is nothing in that because I wanted to show you from the, from the start how this works. So what I'm going to do is come over here, and I'm going to go to Import. Now, when I click on Import, what it does is it brings me to my desktop. You can see that right there. And what I've done is I've created a folder called Celestion IR Packs, and I've put all five of the packs that I own in this folder. So I can go through and, and just choose whatever I want. So let's say I'm going to choose a blue, okay, a Celestion blue here. Now, you'll notice when I click on that, I click on this folder, it pulls up another folder that says, do I want a closed 112, a closed 212, a closed 412, an open 112 or an open 212. Well, I'm going to choose for this particular amp, I'm going to choose an open 212. Now, the next thing I choose is the, um, the my audio interface is running at a certain uh, quality, right? So right now what I'm doing is I'm doing all of my recording in 48 kilohertz here. That's what I've got my audio interface set at. So I'm going to choose that just so they're they're as compatible as possible with each other. Now you you might be recording in 44 or 88 or something else. You would just choose whatever you normally uh, do your recording with or whatever your, your audio interface is set at. So I'm gonna choose 48 and then I get this. I get a, a choice here of 200 milliseconds or 500 milliseconds which is kind of the, the length of time that it takes for that response to sort of kick in. So I'm just going to go with 200 milliseconds. Now, to be honest, I haven't really noticed a, a whole lot of difference, but I've just been going with 200, trying to keep the latency as low as possible. So I'm choosing that, and then that's when we get to the good stuff here. Now, I can choose all of these different kinds of microphones. Or you can see down here, there's a bunch of different choices of microphones that we can choose. Okay, so what we're going to do here now is on a clean channel and I'm going to go back and forth so you can kind of hear the difference. But a really common one for me is to choose the combination of 420 of uh, the 421 and the 57. I like that sound. So I'm going to hit open. It's going to pop that open. Okay, hit OK. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over to Steve IR because I want to save it in there. 
So here it is, import success. So, now, now that's that impulse response right now. You can see, if you look at the screen, you can see the sample rate is set at 4,800 or 48,000, 48 kilohertz. The bit depth is 24, okay? Now I'm gonna go back here. There's the original one. And now we come back to this one right here. Hey, thank you so much for watching and be sure to be looking for the next video where we're going to be breaking down some more sounds and we're also going to be looking at some distortion tones as well. So you can learn more about these Celestian Impulse Response Packs shown in this video by clicking on the link in the description.